Before we start talking about main idea, I want to talk a bit about how our brains work. Which of these rooms is the best place to do a school project? Your homework. Play a game with a friend. If you said the messy one, I can't disagree that you could do all those things there. But it would always be easier to work in the more organized place. Why, you ask? Because our brains love organization. Our brain especially likes to group things together that are similar. In fact, that's what a paragraph is, and it's why the main idea is so important. Let's take a minute to talk a bit about what a paragraph actually is. Do you know? Most people will say that a paragraph is five to seven sentences. Wrong! You may have heard this when you were little because it is an easy way to explain a paragraph. You are bigger now and you can understand the truth. A paragraph is just a way to group sentences to help our brain make sense of them. The best paragraphs have sentences that all have something in common. Many paragraphs even have a sentence that announces the main idea to help your brain. These are called topic sentences. They are usually at the beginning or end of the paragraph. The sentences that are similar to each other are called supporting details. That is because they provide details that go along or support the topic sentence. Much like the legs of a chair support the seat. Let's look at some examples together. The storm. The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops, one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. The topic sentence of this paragraph is, The rain began early in the morning. The rest of these sentences all tell details about the rain and the storm. You saw a paragraph, but your brain was able to sort it out like this. Here's the main topic. The rain started early that morning. All of these topics are supporting details. The hard drops, the thunder, the lightning, the purple clouds, all of that belongs together in the same paragraph about the rain. Saturday at the Carnival. James and his sister Anna went to the Carnival on Saturday. They rode the merry-go-round, the roller coaster, and the Ferris wheel. James ate popcorn and had a hot and a hot dog. Anna drank lemonade and ate an apple. They saw many exciting shows. They were tired when they went home. The main idea is that James and Anna went to the carnival. The details list the rides they rode, the snacks they both ate, and the exciting shows. It also tells you that they were tired when they went home. Now when I see that, this seems odd to me. This doesn't seem to fit to me with James and Anna went to the carnival. Main idea is a great way to help your brain make sense of what you read, but this year it's also something you should begin to think about as a writer. In fact, it is one of the main parts of revision. As a writer, you want your paragraphs to have a topic sentence and contain the supporting de details that stay on topic. When you revise, you go back and look to see if you have accidentally placed a detail in the wrong place or a detail that needs to be removed completely. In this paragraph, as a writer, I might want to take that out and move it to a whole new paragraph about when they got home. I'm excited to see what you do with this new information, and I look forward to having conversations with you about this in our reading and writing groups. Thanks for listening.